This is a quick look at the Fluid Master Dual Flush Valve. I would say if I was buying a valve now, I would probably buy the the flapper valve by Fluid Master. I didn't realise you could get that as a dual flush, but you can. I don't know if there's any downsides to the flapper valve, but this valve anyway, I'm really happy with it because it's fine. It's perfectly good and it's a lot easier than the old style valves. It's got a lot of intuitive maintenance things about it. They're very innovative. I'm sure the flapper valve has similar things as well. This is a button button press one. You can the button can be on the side or on the front or on top. So here it is fitted. I'm really happy with it. It's got a quick release button here for the for the push button, which is really handy. The overflow pipe can be changed to a lot of heights and gets from around about eight inches to thirteen and a half inches. Then you lock it there like that. And as you can see, the valve itself is a lot smaller than the old type siphon valves. Here it is on full flush. And one great thing about it is if you ever need to change that valve, you don't need to take the whole system off if you're replacing it like for like. You just twist it and lock. And that's if you want to change anything about that as well so you just unclip it you don't need to take the system off so that's great and this is a half flush adjuster you can adjust that from anything from about 0 to about 75% so it's really good if you want to preserve water and there's also an adjuster for the full flush so I presume that's from about 80% to 90% of a flush something like that. You can adjust that to certain different heights. So that's really good for water preservation and you can take that off to set it if you want to. You don't need to but you can and then you just twist it back on again. I think that, that cable is about 35 centimetres long. So, and you can twist it, well, you're not meant to twist it, but you can a bit. And it just clips on. Makes it very ubiquitous for most toilets, systems. This handle here, I think that's all meant to hit, meant to fit flush against, against the system. But the hole in my system was too small and I couldn't get it all through, so most of it's on the outside on my toilet. But as you can see, it's pretty decorative anyway, so maybe Fluid Master realise a lot of people won't be able to get the whole button through. And so they've made it very decorative. If you can't get it all through, it just pushes through there, a push button. It's very easy to push for, say, a pension or a five practice or anything like that very easy to push and then it's just a clip on handle which is great for maintenance that's the half flush, that's the full flush and that's the half flush it was pretty easy to fit, I had to take off the inlet valve as well of course when I took the whole system off um, I've got a flexi hose for my inlet valve a lot of people have copper pipes if it's an older toilet and the flex valves are a lot easier and that white dial I can change the pressure these two screws at the back hold the system onto the wall or a hollow panel at the back for most people it's just a case of unscrewing them and it'll come away from the wall 
but for some people there might be a nut holding that screw in at the back if it's a hollow panel and when you unscrew it that nut will fall out and you might not be able to get to it easy but for most people it's just a case of unscrewing those things and it'll come away so for most people it'll be okay but if it's got a hollow panel and a nut at the back then you may be in a bit of trouble um, apart from that it was pretty easy to take it away from the wall. With mine they screw into wood in a hollow panel so I was okay. They just came off easily. If they were fitted with nuts they would have fell and I would have had to find them. Fine. I had a bit of leakage here when I fitted it, fitted the cistern onto the toilet bowl but there's a pad in there between the cistern and the hole and uh, I screwed up, I screwed the cistern to the bowl too tight I think and it started leaking a wee bit of the side. I should have maybe even replaced that pad, it was already there but I didn't so, but apart from that I've not had any leakage problems, it, I didn't use any toilet putty, it tells you not to, I didn't use any plumber's tape so either I've been very lucky or it is that easy. Just there, the water was leaking out from the, when I flushed it. This is the inlet valve, this is a fluid master one as well. I think it's the older type, I think they've got a newer version out now. This video is just about the flush valve though. And this tool's really very handy for the big nut that locks the, the flush valve onto the cistern. It didn't come with a fluid master though, this, which is a pity. If fluid master are watching, you should add it. And this gasket is for if you've got a bigger sized cistern, which I don't have, so I didn't need it. There seems to be mainly two sizes of systems, big and small really. And this uh, locking nut thing came as part of the handle, but since I couldn't fit it flush I didn't think I needed it. Most of my handle is on the outside. If you ever need to completely replace a flush valve from a system, you'll need to remove that locking nut that fits it onto the cistern and most households don't have a spanner or a wrench that will fit a nut that big and this tool here is perfect for it because it fits perfect that came with a different flush valve it didn't come with the fluid master and I actually bought that flush valve to get that tool because it fits perfect and that's the sticking point I would say for most people because you won't have the tool that fits that nut so fluid master if you're watching you should add them to your flush valves because it makes it a whole lot easier. Of course with a new flush valve hopefully I won't ever need to take it right off the system but if you ever do you need a really big spanner or a wrench or a tool like this. As you can see it fits two sizes the big or small which is, fits most systems, I think. And here's a look at the flushing again. This is the half flush. It's maybe a wee bit too short, but I can adjust it. Here it is again, the half flush. I don't think I had a full there actually when I flushed that. So that didn't do the half flush justice really. But anyway I can adjust it with that thing at the back or where whatever position it ends up in. And here's the full flush. And I can 
adjust that to if I want to some extent and there's there's that hole that I couldn't really fit my my push button all the way through and here's a look at the flushing again this is a it's a half flush maybe a wee bit too short still and that's a full flush and this is a this is what holds the cistern onto the toilet bowl those two there's a nut on the other side as well don't tighten them too tight because you may get a leakage there when you flush as I did you may even break your bowl I suppose and here's a look at the the packaging again it was really pretty easy to fit I didn't need any toilet putty or plumber's tape maybe if you get copper piping that it might be a wee bit more awkward to fit the inlet valve I don't know but I think most people will be pretty easy with it so I'm really happy with this. I would probably buy a flapper valve now because now I know they've got dual flush as well but I'm really happy with this anyway and it was just as cheap. Both of them are by Fluid Master. And here's the instructions on the other side. Of course you can always look in YouTube to watch other people fitting flush valves. It was pretty easy as long as you've got that big big thing to fit that nut. So I recommend this valve anyway. <laughs>